Hey there, everybody. It is Makin' Maria, your Chuck Couture independent designer. Happy, happy. Okay, what day of the week is it? <laughs> it's Monday. It is Monday, so give me one second, and we are going to get going here. Because we have a fun little project. We're actually going to do something tonight I have never done before. I'm trying to get to your comments so that I can be all, oh, there we go, I can be all up and running. Let's flip you around. Hey, everybody, welcome to our Chalkin' Party. I'm making Maria, your independent chalk tour designer. <laughs> I, I need a theme song. Don't you think? I should have a theme song. <laughs> yeah, like, my ego doesn't need to get any bigger than it already is. So, welcome. We have a fun little project tonight. We're going to do something different that I have never done before. So I think it should be relatively interesting to see what it's going to be like. So let me get you flipped around. There we go. Hey, everybody. Oh, I love all my new technology. Thank you. Thank you, all you wonderful people. Miss Cassidy, I see baby mama is watching us tonight. And uh, she has uh, got a large part to do with our technology. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And five million more times. Thank you for... Uh, all this wonderful technology so you can see my hands and you can see what we're doing so tonight we are doing a bon appetit and it is going to be this cute little tray and we have these leaves and olives that or I guess maybe branches we'll call them branches we're gonna we have an extra olive we have some extra little leaves around too um, but we're gonna put this on this tray and I got this tray at Hobby Lobby got little metal um, handles it also has all of the things to hang so if you wanted to hang it you could hang it if you wanted to um, I am making this for an auction so I'm not really sure what the person that wins it or I guess <laughs> they don't really win it right at an auction I always I love auctions and I've always said that oh look what I wanted my husband's always like you did not win that you you were the highest bidder that is not winning it um, so I'm not sure what the person who uh, purchases this for the highest bid will uh, um, pay for it, but or do with it, I should say. What, what they'll do, I don't know what they'll pay for it either, but I don't know what they're going to do with it. So this is what we're going to do. And I have some cool colors picked out that we're going to do, assuming I stop throwing around. And I think I'm going to switch Storm for fresh linen. So these guys are going to be our grapes, our leaves, and our words. So we have auborgine, pumpkin pie, buttermilk. This is uh, honeydew. We use honeydew a lot. This honeydew is, this guy's almost dead. Um, but we have more, don't worry. <laughs> and then we have garden herb and fresh linen. So fresh linen is the white that's not quite a bright white, but a kind of a very pretty pale gray white and then I might as well start opening might as well start the torture of opening the jars Cassidy says still hashtag winning <laughs> Cassidy are we sorry I'm banging are we still hashtag winning a baby in the belly or are we still hashtag winning amazing technology from amazing people hey Terry welcome welcome oops that one got stuff on my don't want to do that. Um, I, I'm impressed that that baby is still in that belly, I have to honestly say. But I keep telling everybody, this is the week. We're having a baby this week. <laughs> Come, like it or not, she's going to be here. So I'm opening up all of our paste. And I'm going to get it all stirred and ready to go. Because our rule before you ever chalk is... Have all your paste ready to go. Now this one isn't as big of a deal because it's lots of pieces that you're gonna pull off. So um, it's not as important. I'm just gonna wash my board quick because I'm noticing it has some little things on it and we want a clean surface. So I'm just giving it a quick little wash. Um, but we wanna have all our paste stirred, ready to go so that we can just chuck away to our little heart's content as soon as we are ready. So I'm wondering actually if I don't have chalk or wax on my board or my rig. No, it's good. Okay, once it dried, it was good. Okay, so I opened up all of our paste 
and for the most part they look like they're in really good condition now I just used this one because I was as I'm sure you can tell I was chalking before we went live and um, I made a beautiful sign oh my goodness I've been trying to get more detailed with our that gorgeous gorgeous e-size transfer which is the largest one we make that says to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow and I did a live with that one one other time but I really wanted to see because you know why shouldn't I try to you know challenge myself and I was up for it and I thought I would see if how much more detail could I get with the colors and the flowers and uh, it actually it turned out really nice so I'll show it to you but so I did just use that color is the, what I was trying to say is I just used that color. so I'm just stirring everybody up seeing who needs water and who doesn't I've actually been chalking all day because um, I'm making a bunch of stuff for this auction which I don't know why it's just who I am I'm weird I guess so I'm just stirring a love aubergine oh my goodness it is such a pretty pretty color and then buttermilk is always thick when you stir it up so when you stir them you want it to be like a yogurt sour cream type consistency hey Debbie welcome to our chalk and party we're having a little bon appetit tonight on this super cute tray that I happened to pick up today it was kind of a last-minute thing um, I was making stuff for the auction and I needed some new additional surfaces and I was there and I saw it and I'm like oh my goodness this is beautiful I think it's just beautiful as a frame I think it would be gorgeous hung up on a wall quite honestly um, the only thing obviously is it's chalk right so I'm gonna put a little sticker on it that says I'm made with chalk because I don't want the person that you know wins it <laughs> to uh, um, you know wash it because they'll wash the jug right off of it now I could spray it and if I have time to do that I will do that Just then by spraying it it seals it and then they can wash away and nothing's gonna happen okay so I have our garden herb all stirred up now when you I'm sure if you noticed when I first opened it up it was brown and muddy looking in places that's just the color pigment and garden herb always does that it separates the color and you just stir it right back up and you're in really good shape all right so whew. hey Aunt Josephine welcome welcome so we are going to get started with our party so now that we're all stirred we're all ready to go this is a perfect opportunity for you to share my video um, because that way everybody can see the fun that we're about to have as we make this super cute creation really quickly um, so if you could share my video I very 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 much appreciate it I need to take all those varies out of my sentences I've learned I, I say very a lot <laughs> okay so I take my transfer off of my backer Ooh, and don't do that that's what you don't want to do you do not want so your transfer is made with a silk screen if you can see the silk screen inside of there it's made with a silk screen and it's an adhesive you do not want it to touch itself if it touches itself yeah it's bad because it's so sticky when you go to pull it apart you pretty much put holes in it in fact I did that to one of them today but I did it at least in a part that you know I did it like up here where there's no silk screen so it, the transfer is still usable but I have done it to transfers where I got the whole thing stuck to itself and completely ruined the transfer so you do want to be careful with the backs of your transfer that's why we lay it face down and take the backer off of the transfer so that the static there's less likelihood of it um, meeting itself so that's why we do it that way but these silk screen transfers are reusable so you can use them over and over and over again which is kind of the beauty of them because it gives you endless opportunities for creativity because you can use them with chalk you can use them with ink you can use them with paste you can use them with etching cream I mean, you could just create and create and you can use different pieces from different transfers with different things just possibilities are endless okay so with Bon Appetit um, this particular transfer comes with the Bon Appetit it comes with I already have it cut apart I'm sorry or I would show it to you it comes with the grapes one grape three grapes one leaf it comes with I can't find the package it comes with a little leaf and then it comes with a fork a spoon and a knife so you can do some really cute things with it in fact I was gonna show you guys 
This is actually the transfer that was on the cover of our cat, our last catalog. This is still available in the new catalog, but um, here, let me let's get it down here so you can see. So you can just see it. So this is uh, last, I guess, last season's catalog. And this is what they did with the transfer. So th this is all the pieces that it comes with. I really like the fork, the spoon, and the knife and have done other things with those on different, you know, kind of piecing things together. So it's kind of nice to have that ability to mix and match. Um, but it's a really cute transfer. And in fact, I'm going to keep this out because these are the colors that I'm kind of going for with the orange, the um, yellow, which is this the yellow is probably too bright of a yellow. We should probably go more bumblebee. Yeah, bumblebee is a, a more mustard yellow versus buttermilk, which is a bright yellow. So we're going to switch our yellows. Now that I look at the catalog, ooh, and this guy's ugly. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This is where you yell at Maria. Hey, Maria, you did not take good care of this paste because look at the gunky size of this bad boy. Whew, yeah, uh-huh. That's Maria being bad. Ooh, and he is dry, dry, dry. So you just, when they're dry, you just put a little water in them. And this guy's really dry, so I'm going to give him a minute to let that water get in there. So it's going to take some stirring to get him going again. Because it's chalk, so chalk dries out. But you can get him going again. There he goes. He's all good now. And for the little tiny grapes we need, we need, I mean, we need a minuscule amount of this paste. So I'm just stirring him up. And then tonight, before I put him away, I will clean him all out, give him a good drink, and let him sit. And then the he'll read. I talk about these pastes like they're people. Did you ever notice that he, she, the paste will rehydrate itself and uh, be totally usable. So, okay, let's get to chalking and stop all this yapping. Okay, thank you for sharing my video. Very much appreciate it. Hey, Josephine. Hi, Maria. Hi, Debbie. Okay, I said hi to everybody. Okay, Cassidy, I'm still wait. I'm still waiting. Are we having this baby or not? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll stop. I'll be a good aunt. Okay, we're gonna sh we're gonna chalk. Bon appetit. So I've got my transfer down. I have all my air pushed out, and I have my my adhesive part of my transfer. That's what this green part is. Is the adhesive part? I have that all stuck down. So now I'm gonna do what's called dip and go, and I have a small squeegee and a paste, and all I do is dip it in like so, and I. Hold my squeegee up and down. I don't hold my squeegee flat, okay? I don't do this. If I do this, that's what I get. If I hold my squeegee up and down, that's what I get. And there's a huge difference in the thickness of your paste. It does not matter what direction you go in. You can go in any direction that you want. Um, not yet still at home. Are you not working? Are you on, on leave already? No, you're. I, if I know you, you're working. You're just home today. <laughs> Silly question, Maria. Of course you're working. All right, so I'm going to squeegee away. So we were talking at dinner. Okay, one side note, Cassie. At dinner, we were talking about you tonight, and we were planning out our weekend between pole vaulting and all those other fun things we have going on. And I'm like, well, you know, we're going to have to make a, a trip this weekend because we're having a baby this week. <laughs> so I hope you have the baby this week. Because <laughs> our weekend is planned, Roger, and I'm just... All right, so anyway, I'm again digressing. I apologize. So I am going to pull my transfer off. Now your transfers are a fabric. So you can stretch them with the silk screen in there. So you, you're very careful when you pull it. You don't pull it on the bias, which is diagonally. You pull it straight, okay? And when you pull it, you pull it up and down. You don't pull it like this. The difference is when you pull it straight up and down versus pulling it like this, your transfer doesn't curl up when it comes off. And just like that, we have this beautiful, gorgeous Bon Appetit. And I just take my transfer and I stick it in a bucket of water I have over here. Look at how pretty that is. It's pretty just by itself, right? We don't even need to add anything to it. <laughs> I think it's just gorgeous. But in your angle, it's like there's something there, right? That's not, that's not my imagination. Yep, it's a little water. Oh, she's still working. Oh, goodness. Put those feet up, young lady. Okay, so I'm just going to, whatever's on this board, I want to get it off. Hey, Montina. Nice layout because you're getting so high tech. I know, aren't I? You know, we started out, 
with our words backwards and all kinds of <laughs> messy stuff. But yep, okay, Montina, I have got, I've gone to the big leagues. Even my husband said to me, wow, it really looks professional. And I'm like, yeah, and it's really just an app. I don't even have to do anything to it. I, well, okay, I had to learn how to use it, but that was the extent of it, which was a major accomplishment, as you all know me. Okay, so I'm just gonna dry our Bon Appetit so that we can put our leaves and our olives on it. So I kind of was on the fence about the colors of the olives. Because, I mean, I don't really know any olives that are pumpkin pie. I don't really know any olives that are yellow. I'm even struggling, I guess there are, there are aubergine olives. Right? So I did kind of, but I get it. It's it's nice and colorful when you do it in the colors. But, okay, my Italian peeps that are watching me. What do you think about the olive colors? Should I, I'm going to just put my lid. Just I just kind of lean my lid on my paste containers. Just kind of lean it on so that my paste don't, doesn't dry out while I'm yapping. We're going to put our leaves on. And we are doing a new fancy thing tonight. <clears throat> we hope it works. So, when I put my leaf on, it's going to go in this direction. But, notice it has a branch down here. When I go to do this side, it's upside down because of how the transfer is made. So, wait for it. We are going to try chalking on the other side. Now, I've seen people do this. We're going to give it a go. Kalamata's Alamadas are purplish. Yep, I agree, Montina. All right, so we are t we are totally living on the edge here tonight, ladies, with our cute little branch guy. So I'm just putting him kind of close, trying to get it straight. And we are going to use the hot mess technique on our leaves because um, I want to mix the blue the greens together. I don't want it to be just one because leaves leaves are not one, just one color. So how you do hot mess is you take your paste and you just dab the different colors around and then it's going to mix it together when we uh, squeegee. And then you'll, you'll have different color variations. They'll almost look variegated. Um, and then we'll have that kind of more natural leaf look to them. So you just dot your paste. Now you're careful because obviously my green is touching the um, honeydew, so my garden herb. So I'm, I'm careful that I don't have paste on my little stick because I don't want to put that back, I don't want to put honeydew back into my paste color because then I will end up with a contaminated color. Woo, bad. All right, so I've got this whole like camouflage look going on. And I'm going to take my squeegee, and I'm just going to squeegee it. And then see how it just kind of mixes them together? Now, it will look completely different underneath than it does on top. Um, I have learned that. When you do this technique, you think you've got it. Oh, it's all blended together, and then you pull it off. So this color is a brand new color. I cannot put that in my paste container, because if I put that in my paste container... I will contaminate my color. And then I won't end up with my pretty colors that I like so much. So I just squeegee it off. Did you hear that sound? Mm-hmm, that sound was air. Hopefully we don't have air. And now I check in my fingers and I just pull my transfer off. And look, we have really pretty leaves. Now I am putting my transfer in the water bath even though we're about to use it again. And I'm doing that because I'm gonna flip it over to chalk it on the other side. Okay, so this is what our leaves look like. So they kind of look more, you know, variegated versus just one stark, solid color. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my project aside because I wanna wash my transfer so that we can have, give it a little air time before, um, we go to use it on the other side. We'll do our, our olives on this one side and then we'll flip it over. Okay, so I took my transfer out of my water bath. I have it, uh, sticky side is down. 
So my sticky side is down and I take a, oops, it's my last one. Take a disinfectant wipe any brand, any scent, you know, <laughs> whatever, whatever scent makes you happy while you're chalking and you just wash it off. Now I could do it right on my glass because my mat is glass. It wouldn't hurt it. So see, you, you get the, that what was in my screen. You actually get the imprint of whatever it was on your towel. The chalk washes off so you can very easily wash these towels. I don't, I throw these towels in the wash pretty regularly because they get stuff on them. So then I just air it out, okay, because it's still a little damp. Actually, I'm going to grab another towel. It's still a little damp. So I just give it a dry. Being careful with it because it's not 100% sticky. It's not its normal sticky right now because it's still damp. But as it dries, it will become sticky again. And it will become super sticky. So that's why I'm going to give it a minute to just kind of sit here. And wait for us while we do our olives on this side. But first I need to make sure that this is dry. So I'm just going to dry them off and you'll watch as you see, I hope you can see that. It actually changes color a little bit as it dries. Some of the colors just pop more once they're dry. But I really want this to be good and dry before I lay down my other transfer because otherwise my transfer will pull the chalk off the surface. And you don't want to go through all this hard work, ladies, to have it get pulled off. Hey, Lisa, welcome to our... Oh, and Jan, hello, everybody. Welcome to our chalk and party. I hope you're hungry because it's bon appetit. So I'm just giving it a good dry. And it's hot now. Because my gun is not a hair dryer, it's a heat gun. So you just you don't want to put your transfer back down when it's hot, hot. You want it to have cooled off a little bit. Okay, so we are copying. So these olives, these olives have only been used once. Um, I don't know who used this. I don't, I've never used this transfer. So I'm going to just pick up some fuzz. Now these are microfiber towels, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, they've got lint on them. <laughs> So they're not the best for linting. I really do find that if it wasn't buried, which is why it's out of my mind, my Chuck Couture towel is really amazing. I did a video earlier today that I recorded and it wasn't live and the transfer wasn't sticky. And I had done a horrible cleaning job on this transfer once I figured out why it wasn't sticky. And I took my board eraser and I rubbed the back of the transfer to get the, because the fuzz, I never wiped the fuzz off of it. And it was the color of my towel. I'm like, wow, that, that bad boy really does leave some fuzz. I didn't think he left that much fuzz. All right, so now I am going to place my olives on. Now, this is not one of those nice transfers that has the register marks. So what that means is this is an older transfer. <laughs> That's how you know. The new transfers have these nice, pretty little register marks on them so that you can line up where you want your olives to be. So I think we're gonna go like that. Now notice I am not pushing down the whole transfer. I am only pushing down around, I really don't want it there. I really wanna try to get them as much into the clear without being on a branch or on a leaf. I don't know if that's gonna be possible. It could just be the way I am putting it on. Maybe we try it that way. Let's look at the picture. When in doubt, look at the picture, right? Okay, so this is the... Oh, okay. So they have little... Aha, look! One, two, three! Aha! See? That's what happens when you look at the picture. You should have just said, dumb, real. Look at the picture. Oh, look at that. They line up. Perfectly. <laughs> Duh. Okay, not quite perfectly, but kind of perfectly. Wow, look at that. So, as you can see on here, there's like little stems that the olives go on. So, now we're going to... So they're very distressed, so they're not going to come out clean. They're not going to be big blobs of orange or big blobs of yellow. They're just going to be these little tiny 
distressed looking olives. So I'm just putting my colors down. I need very little, very, very little paste because these, I mean, this is two seconds for these little olives. Okay, put my extra back in. And I can just wipe my squeegee off. I don't have to make a big washing production out of it. Because first of all, it doesn't have that much on it. Um, very little paste. And then we can go voila, abracadabra, and we will have olives. Okay, this is cute. Oh my goodness, why have I never made this transfer? This transfer is super cute. Okay, so this one I'm actually, well, now I gotta wash him off too because he's gonna have to go upside down the wrong way. So I'm drying my olives off just so I don't stick my fingers in them. And you'll notice the Auber aubergine will become brighter and the pumpkin pie gets darker. It's strange. Okay, so. We got our little olives Oop. on our branches. So now we have to get we have to get fancy, ladies. So if I do it with the sticky side down, my branch is on top, which I think it should go the same way. What do you guys think? I think it should go this way like it does on that side. So it should be cupping like a wreath, but maybe it doesn't have to be. I mean, it's still cupping it, it's just the branches on top. Do you think I have to do the branch on the top or, or on the bottom? Or do you think I can do the branch on the top? It might look more interesting if it's on the bottom or on, the, if I do it this, the way it's meant to be, it might look more interesting this way because it's not it's not matchy matchy samey samey what do you think now there's a delay so i'm going to give you a second because i know you guys aren't you guys haven't even heard what i've said yet <laughs> that's how i feel with my kids <laughs> they don't ever hear what i have to say all right so should i do it hey molly welcome to our chalk and party we're just trying to make a decision molly should i can i have my Three things going up. Okay, so this actually helps me because I'm looking at it from your angle. It's not bad that way. If I'm going to do it this way, I have to do it upside down. Which, you know, could be an epic fail. Or could work off awesomely. I have done it. I've just not done it with um, big, a big transfer. I've done it with little pieces where I flipped them over to get a different angle than the squeegee. Unfo hey, Terry, that's a good point. On here, it's a circle. It goes all the way around. Where we're not going all the way around, because I don't think I can go all the way around. I, yeah, it's not going to fit all the way around. I mean, I suppose we could go all the way around. I guess I didn't think of that. I was only going to do it part of the way. So I was just going to do one on each side and not do anything up here or down here. So... I don't mind it this way. I thought I was not going to like it at all. But if I do it this way, then I just, I've got skinny things on the bottoms. Cassidy says, can't go wrong, but I like it not matchy. I kind of agree. I kind of like it not matchy. I didn't think I was going to like it not matchy. But I think, I think that is going to be our big winner, is not matchy. We'll try it. And if we don't like it, we'll wash it off. I mean, that's the beauty of chalk, right? If you don't like it, you wash it off. All right, so I'm lining it up, trying to get it kind of. I'm going to pu actually pull up my ruler. I know this is something that you never see with me to see how, you know, I'm pretty, I'm not, I'm not measuring. I'm just seeing do my tops match to my bottoms. And we're pretty close. But I think I'm just going to move our angle a little bit. Terry says, not matchy matchy. Cheryl, oh hey Cheryl, welcome to our chalking party. Cheryl says not, okay. All right, awesome. Okay, so we're hot messing again. Actually makes it, oh, the pressure is off. We don't have to try to do an epic fail. So I'm just dotting my honeydew to give me my variegated leaves. 
and I will show you when we're all done here the new um, to plant a garden yeah, I like it a ton but I mean I love the other one the first one that I made but this one has way more color in it it's on a smaller frame it was a little challenging I don't recommend it for a first-time chalker but it turned out super cool it's a huge transfer those e size transfers, what are they? 20, 18 by 24 or something crazy like that. Okay, so I'm just dotting away. Da, da, da. Just got a big pole vaulting meet tomorrow night. Ooh, so I don't, well, I'll have to figure out when I'm going to do my video. Christopher's pole vaulting tomorrow and a meet, and he's hoping to hit 14 feet. He's not going to hit 14 feet. Oh, wait, that's not being a supportive mother. I'll be surprised if he hits 14 feet because he's only at 13 feet. To go a whole foot up in a match, or not a match, a meet would be unusual. So I'm just hot messing it together. That way I get my very nice, I like to do this with leaves just because it really gives you, um, you know, leaves are not just one green color. So this gives you a nice um, little variety. So tomorrow we're starting Easter. We're not going to do a lot of Easter, but we are going to do some Easter. And the Easter transfers I have. So if you are interested in them, you want to let me know because I have them. And I'm more than happy to mail them to you wherever you are. But there's really only three Easter transfers. So we are not we don't have a ton of Easter to do, but we are going to do a little bit of Easter. And my favorite one, our friend Deb did. Hey, Deb, you should post your, did I take a picture of your one you did? You should post a picture, Deb, of the one you did. She did the hippity hoppity happy Easter in like every color, and it's super cute. Super cute. Um, there's that one. There's so that one's called Happy Easter. There's Spring Words, which we've used some of those already. And then there is oh, build a bunny. I really want to build a bunny. I just got to get prepared to build a bunny. Okay, so I'm just making sure. My leaves are, this is, I kind of like it not matchy-mashy. I do like it this way. I didn't think I was gonna, but I do. Okay, so I got some green in here. So before you ever go into your board with water on a Q-tip, always try your fingernail first. Because sometimes that totally works and then you don't have to worry about, oh, and now I put the, now I put the grapes in the water I didn't need to. Okay, so I'm just gonna move, oh, okay, so here's my, Variegated leaves. I'm gonna set my front. This board is heavy. Okay, I set it down because I need to wash off my grapes. So thank you for sharing my video. Um, the new Club Couture is coming out. If you have questions about Club Couture or anything about how it works, it is a $19.99 a month subscription service. It's super fun. Uh, B size transfer and three paste packets arrive at your door like magic every month and it gives you the opportunity to have some fun creating. So if you're interested in information about Club Couture, you just type in club and I will send you information about it. This is super fun. Okay, so he's really wet. I'm gonna dry off my board and lay him down. He's sticky side up right now. Just take my another, another towel. I don't like to use my um, Chuck Couture fuzzing towel for this because it's special. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that funny? It's my special towel. It only gets used for special things. And I really just don't like to get it all wet because I do use it for fuzzing. I mean, it's an amazing fuzzing towel. It's the best fuzzing towel I've ever had. Because it doesn't, and maybe that's because it's new, where I was fuzzing with just rags I had. And, um, then I would get, you know, like you, when you have a rig, it gets all bally. I would get the balls in my transfer. This doesn't do that. So, I'm just going to fuzz my grapes because they're super sticky now because I washed it off. So, did you guys all survive all that crazy hail? Oh, my goodness, you poor Texas people. I swear to gosh, you guys have, like, the worst weather. <laughs> Between the tornadoes, the flooding, the heat, now the Hail. Oh my goodness. Lisa, was that really your pieces of your roof in your front yard? That was crazy. Oh my goodness. 
like she had this huge pile of hail on her front walkway and I would tell you it looked it looked like a, a snow pile and it had these all these little black dots in it and she said in the post that it was um, pieces of a roof that's crazy all right so I'm lining up again my Grapes going on the bottom of the, look at how amazing that is, how my grapes just fit right there, like they're supposed to. And then I just, hey buddy, Hello. come say hi. Joe's going to bed, everybody. Night. Here, wait, we'll make you big. I don't need it, trust me. Look, come, come down, say hi, Joe. Hi. Hi, Joe. Good night, Joe. Night, All night. right, good night. Love you. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. <laughs> Joe loves it when I make him the poor guy. Oops, that did not do what it was supposed to do. Oop, there we go. Now we're back. Okay, so again, hey Verge, welcome to our chalking party. We're bon appetiting. So I don't want to do. The, I want to do the olives in a different. So this time I'm gonna. Ooh, that was way too much paste. I want to do my aubergine in the middle this time. I'm gonna do my bumblebee on the bottom and my pumpkin pie and again this for one little tiny die I mean but you barely need to touch the paste to it so I just oh why did I do that I should have put it back in the container oh I know why because I'm thinking oh I gotta wash off my squeegee before I touch the next color with it now I could have uh, hot messed the olives too and had a little variation in my olives but after you see the one I made this afternoon, you're going to understand why this this project was too much for me as it was. Okay, so we got our little olives on that side. And I'm going to flip her around because it's upside down for me, which I don't know. I think that makes it upside down for you. So I'm going to try to get you no glare. There we go. So that's our cute little Bon Appetit project with our go down more I have this thing in the way so you can't really see but check out our cute little olives on our cute little branches so this is I'm trying to get again get rid of the glare so you can see it I'll take a picture of it and post it too so that you can see the real colors I like the fact that it goes the other direction that doesn't bother me what do you guys think do you think I should is it okay being up and down or do you think that I could put a leaf on the top <laughs> but then he would be too high but I could put a leaf on the top and a leaf on the bottom what do you think you think I should do something with this branch or is it okay the way it is I'm just covering up my pace while you guys are talking thinking about it because according to this you haven't even heard me yet so that's the big question do you think it's okay Oops. and again I got paste on my board so I'm gonna spray this I will seal this with a quick spray of polycrylic and that way it can get wet otherwise it can't get wet and this is super cute I love the colors too Lisa and I can't even take credit for it because it was this was on the cover of our catalog last year or the last major catalog which was in the fall um, Virginia says how silly is this Maria I was in Joanne's yesterday looking for jogging surfaces <laughs> okay Virginia I gotta tell you you never look at things the same way once you've chalked quite honestly everything is can I chalk that can I chalk that oh I could chalk that even my kids when we go shopping hey mom you could chalk this it's it, Virginia it's it's an addiction really I'm seeing oh phew. All of a sudden, I was worried about the, you know me, but we're straight from the hangers. If whoever whoever wins this at the auction wants to uh, hang it, they can. This is super cute. And this was a last minute little ditty. Again, it's much better for you guys without the glare. Oh, let me get rid of me too. So that you guys can see it all. Oh, there you go. I'm gone. Oh, and let's get rid of this. Okay. No glare in just the project. 
That looks cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't think it's up too high. Maybe no, it's not up too high. In your in your angle, it looks like it's up too high, but it's not. It might be off a little bit. Okay, so let me show you what I made. In order for me to show you what I made, because it's huge, ginormous, I'm gonna have to go back here. So I made this one today, and it has a lot more color in it than the last one I did. So I colored more of the flowers and I colored words, where the last time I did it all pretty much in white, with the exception of these flowers and these flowers. And I think I only did two colors last time. This time I did, let me go back further. This time I did three color flowers. So um, I like this one because it just has some nice colors to it and I like the words in the green. It hasn't been cleaned up yet because I literally just finished it right before I hit the, the go button with you guys. Oh, and I have paste all over me. I'm a hot mess today. Good thing we did the hot mess technique, right? So this is the to build or to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. And that is an Audrey Hepburn quote. This is super big, but it is gorgeous. And if you know a gardener, this is well worth the time to make it because it's people love it. And it's one of those wow pieces. Everybody seems to love it. Okay, thank you so much for watching me and my craziness. I'm Macon Maria, your independent chalk couture designer. If you're curious about what it means to be a designer, feel free to type in curious, and I'd be more than happy to just say, hey, this is what it is, and this is how it works, and this is how much money you can save so that you can earn money while you enjoy your hobby. And it basically, pay, for me, it pays for my hobby, which is why I do this, and it uh, gets me talking to you guys and out with people, uh, adult people <laughs> that, that aren't short. <laughs> Although I suppose if Sherry short legs was watching, some of us are short. Oh, sorry, Sherry. I shouldn't pick on poor Sherry. Oh, she's in Hawaii. She's not watching this anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Oh, guess what? <gasps> We've reached the rambling point. I have not reached the rambling point for a couple of nights now. Ha well, I was about to. All right, so thank you so much for watching me. Um, share my video. Thank you, thank you. We'll be back at you tomorrow night. Um, probably be the same time. The pole vaulting meets, we should be home at a reasonable hour. So we'll keep your fingers crossed for him that he hits 14 feet. Keep our fingers crossed that he hits 14 feet. He might get 13.6. That would be good too. Ooh, I don't, you know, I don't like that red. Oh, and if you're looking, interested in looking at these products, you can also go to www.chucktour.com slash make it Maria. And you can see all the transfers there. Because this transfer is, while it is the um, last time's transfer, or last in the last catalog, this transfer is still available. I try not to show you transfers that aren't available. Because when you fall in love with them, it's really kind of boring, or really bad when you can't get them, I feel. Oh, still rambling. Hmm, haven't hit the finish button yet. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Oops. Yeah, I'm still here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys.